Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you a camper van which has been designed for use with a wheelchair and it's this one here. It is the Bosna Lino and it's on a Ford uh, base and uh, let's have a look inside. Now the first thing is the entrance. This does come with the possibility here of the, a ramp. In fact, if you're with a wheelchair, it will be necessary, but there's two sorts of ramps that can be used. You've got a, one which is put in place manually or alternatively, you can have an electric one which will raise the uh, uh, wheelchair up and into the vehicle. And Okay, so let's have a look now at the pricing. So for something like this, you're looking at around 101,316. Uh, six meter uh, motorhome, 206 in uh, width, 288 in height. Uh, so being on the Ford gives it a huge amount of inner height. So it's one meter 99 standing height inside, which is much more than you'll get from the Fiat Ducato, for example. So. There, you can see, have a look and uh, see how much space there is here. Stacks of space in the vehicle. Now, uh, this company, Brett Caravan, has uh, done this uh, conversion. Uh, there's also, incidentally, an app uh, which is being produced by this company, and I'm doing the app in uh, English. So uh, I'll make that one clear. Um, here, first of all, the kitchen has been lowered. The toilet here has been open shower has been opened up and here again at the rear we've seen one or two um, things for people who may have uh, more problems moving around. So uh, as you expect with the kitchen block you've got the normal things you get so two burners and a sink. You've got a little bit of preparation space and not even a little bit I'd say you probably get more than you usually get uh in this vehicle fridge down here it's the dometic uh small one two-way uh or two way they only work off 12 volt actually because they but let's say, call it two way because that's what the people call them and um drawers down here uh as you'd expect now here all of this area opened up they've got a this floor has been put in specially so that will act as a floor for the shower you've got the drain there uh, as well and so the person who is in the wheelchair can also get uh, use the toilet thanks to these these things here which uh, uh, Fiamma for example produces something similar for to close the door as a, as a door lock so this is something a little bit more sturdier than what they actually have there uh, for the shower you can see you've got the this space here for the curtain so that will come round, but there is absolutely an enormous space down here. This uh, carpet is obviously just to protect the floor. Uh, here we have the table. So the table can come out and uh, produce, so the person with the wheelchair can sit at the table and another person can sit on the other side. Now, I'll put the bed up, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. So it gives you an idea of the space, but the bed will go down. There's also here, we've got these things here being introduced so a person can use them to hold whilst getting into bed. Now these, uh, there are not many companies making wheelchair use uh, camper vans or, or motorhomes. So, but, and so I think really what this can do though, it opens up all of this extra space for anyone um, who may actually need it. Obviously as well, as you'd expect, the sort of the standard things you get in this vehicle down here, you've got the storage there and um, you can lash, lashing straps if you want to keep something else in here and the bed of course will drop down as normal. So I think this is uh, it's quite impressive. And being on the Ford, which is my now my favourite base. Sorry, sorry, my favourite base is a Mercedes, but uh, favourite base for um, 
I should say the cheaper cheaper brands. Uh, I like the Fords because of all the space it gives above, and uh, so I think that's a really it's a really good shape. This one's automatic, but you know there's all sorts of possibilities. So this indeed is m made to order. So if somebody wants one then they can say, look, I need, this is what I need, and then it will be built. As with everything that's made to order, these, to a large extent, are ideas as well. So, as you'd also expect, I have to look one or two normal things. Storage here, you've got hangers there, and storage up there as well, and here. The toilet is being used here. This is a Klesana. I mean, there's various types of toilet. It could have a, um, a not a fat for Dometic. Could come in here. I can use other things. This is Klesana. You can use a Trellino, which is similar, which is use, using the plastic bag system. And uh, but it, it you know depends what you what you want. Uh, all things are possible. So uh, let's uh, let's come out. Sorry, I couldn't actually show the ramp today. I think I have shown it though in a video which was a rather quick one I did when, whilst I was walking around in Stuttgart. Ah, a feature I forgot to mention inside is this. This, the flare which comes out giving extra space there for the bed. So it makes the bed longer. This is 206 centimeters in width uh, normally. But I think that in lying, oh, that's on the external. Uh, I think lying though, it's almost 100 and, 190, two, three, something I can't quite remember exactly what it is. And you see also the flare here on this side as well. Uh, obviously the Kasana toilet doesn't require a uh, this for the cassette. This is a demonstration of what could be done. So it could be the, uh, you know, if you've got a Dometic third foot or whatever in there, and that therefore you'd have the cassette there. Uh, so that's your Truma, there's a boiler and this here. So electricity going in. So it gives you an idea. Right, now, uh, I'm not really in a position to make comments on what people who who are using wheelchairs may or may not need. Uh, I've never had to look after somebody in a wheelchair, in a vehicle anyway, I've had to you know, push them and all the rest of it, but um, not on any long-term basis. So those people who are in wheelchairs may have comments and uh, feelings about something like this. So if you do then, put, them, put the comments down below. I'll also leave a link to the company with the company address if you want to have something uh, uh, made for yourself uh, along this nature. Now I've shown also their caravans that they've built to, uh, for uh, wheelchair users as well here. So uh, thanks very much for watching, hope you found it interesting. Uh, I upload every day at 21.15 hours. Uh, my time, Central European time, so okay, at the moment I'm in Germany, uh, but I'm based in Germany and Poland, so I move between the two countries. And so if you're interested in caravans, motorhomes, it's not caravans, no, this is the wrong place to interested in caravans, don't bother subscribing. But if you're interested in motorhomes or camper vans, or camper van life in general, uh, then please consider, please consider subscribing. So for the moment, all the best from me, bye for now.